Queso. It is a locally produced movie about the struggle that so many immigrants face every day when it comes to jobs and finding jobs uh, and how to stay afloat. So joining us to explain why they created this are uh, Jose Maria Mendiola, also Ruth Diaz, and Max De Silva. Thank you to all of you for coming in. It's nice to have you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. It's a fun us. project, uh, interesting, good, timely topic, I think. Um, why did you decide to do it, though? What, wh how did it come about? How did the three of you sort of connect? Uh, first, um, this project is um, about five immigrants mm -hmm. who works here in the city of Chicago. And I have that dream about 10 years ago when I started working in the movie in pre-production four years ago. So we start... Um, uh, yeah, kind of talking about it and, and sharing ideas and how you could do this. Exactly. Well, we started out as a theater company uh, four years ago, uh, formally. Uh, so actually we did the, the theater version of this story. And now we are, uh, you know, uh, venturing with the uh, Alpha Studios, and we have this new product in in the in the in the cine <laughs> cinema. Okay, so now it's something that you can watch, and you, as we saw in the video, yes, you, you are one of the main characters. Part there. There. Um, okay, so um, my part is um, I'm actually a reporter in real life, but here I'm also a reporter, and I'm trying to pursue them to do this. And first they're like, no, we don't want to do this, and I don't want to tell the ending neither, but. <laughs> Um, I kind of tell him, hey, you have to do this, and you, okay, how much can I say? <laughs> you have to... Not much. Not much, but <laughs> basically, you know, they're trying to make money. They, they struggle a lot. The, the shop just got closed down. And, yes, because the idea is it's, a, it's yes. what, a mechanic's shop that it is, you yes. own or work at, and in uh -huh. three months you haven't had a single customer. Exactly. And so then the question becomes, how do you make ends meet you when you don't have a single customer coming in the door? Yes. What do we do? And then so then this is the part that you play. Yes, and so I, I, I hear about the story, and so basically they're going to do a, like a strip show. Oh, five wow. guys okay. going to. <laughs> yes. She thinks it's a good story. I, so I think, wait a minute, blame. they're struggling and they think this is, you know, the, a good way to uh, to make money. And it's just funny, just the whole way how it goes. And so is it a comedy? It is totally it is. a comedy. Okay. And, and the ending is very funny. <laughs> very funny. That's the part we can't give away. That's the no, part no, we can't give away. I'm about to say it, but I can't. No, we're not. We're not going to let you do that. Right. We're not going to let you do that. Um, okay, so this is one of many projects, and the, and the yeah. thing that I like about this is that you're turning something that is a topic for so many of us. And obviously, here on Adelante, we focus a lot on the Latino community and the immigrant community. But this is uh, an issue that is facing all of us uh, in this day and age. Yes. But it's the fact that you've made a movie like this and given it that fun, sort of funny, light-hearted twist. And you guys are working on other things as well kind of like this, is that right? And I'll let you take yeah, it. Yeah, we're, we're thinking, well, we, we, we're talking about this new project, uh, a TV series, uh, and another, the, ne the next movie, and because we think we have a good response with this one. And um, it's an opportunity for uh, many local talents to uh, join us, mm -hmm. and because we, ha we, ha we have so many stories here in Chicago, so we have to, to um, let the people know what we're doing, we have uh, a lot of uh, Latino uh, talent, Spanish-speaking Latinos, uh, that have only that uh, the access to to um, a few productions. It's it's sad because I mean, we have here a Broadway in Chicago, mm -hmm. but uh, many people doesn't understand because of the language, so they have a very reduced you know market for uh, for talent shows. So we have we we have a niche there, I think, and we have to um, offer. More, more production like, like this one. Yeah, so it's bringing these productions to, to our community, which I think is really important because number one, it's a lot of fun, and number two, it highlights not just our talent, but our creativity and our stories, as you mentioned. And that's another thing. Many, many companies uh, focus on uh, a drama, the drama part of the immigration, uh, you know, yeah. life and uh, all of that. That is very important, but nothing wrong with that. But we want to, to um, uh, see it in another way, you know, like in a in, different in a light, lighthearted. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, we like to laugh, too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we like to laugh, too. Uh, you know, the thing that I was laughing about, I think my producer told me that Hector 
Betancourt, who is one of our photographers here at WGN. Really? That's is correct. he in the movie? Is yes, this right he's or what? Yes, one of the, the police officers. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. The enforcer. Uh, you're going to see something very funny at the end with him, too, so that's all I can okay. tell. <laughs> okay, I can't the, wait. The 90 minutes uh, of the movie is a really comedy, so okay. you're laughing the whole time. Okay, so once again, let's get the information. Where can people see it? Do they buy tickets? I'll let you kind of give us give us a 10 yeah. second pitch on where it's to gonna be go. at the patio theater um and it's gonna be august uh 20th at it starts at what's the red carpet like uh, seven seven o'clock and uh, they can purchase the the tickets online or they can also purchase the ticket at the door and we encourage everybody to come it's a fun show a, a comedy and and it touched so many uh good points about latinos and and it's just you guys have to go see it. It's just really okay. nice. And we're just so happy to be a part of it. And, and it's called to Todo o Nada. Yes. <laughs> todo o Nada. All todo or Nada. Nada. All or Nothing. All or Nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's hard to hear. Okay. Todo o Nada. Thank you so much to Thank all you. of you for coming in. Good luck to you, and I hope you create lots more.